that malice. What does that mean to you? Kissed him all over the map. Good job. I don't even know what that means. I didn't even hear it. What's it mean? Basically, you, uh, basically, what? Twenty wins in four oh, years. Four years. A four-time finalist. I guess you know. There's been a lot of tradition of this term, especially in the Hawkeye wrestling room. Yeah. What does this mean to you? Um. To be frank with you guys, it's uh, it's the Midlands. It's great and all, but it's just another tournament. You know, it's uh. Maybe when I look back at my career, I'm looking at my credentials. When I'm old and I have kids and grandkids, you know, it'll be something like, oh man, that was three-time Midlands champ. That's pretty neat. Tell them about it. But right now, it's just another tournament. It's just another match. I'm working on getting better every minute. I mean, I didn't have a very good semifinals match, and I was out there to kind of prove that. That was just a little hiccup, not a big one. Uh, someone told me that Someone on the internet was saying that I'm a, I'm a punk and I wrestle different, I shut down, I wrestle high level opponents, well, he's whatever ranked guy and I, I majored him, so shut up. We'll, we'll talk about now, between now and the NCAA, which will be your last. What do you most want to do to separate yourself from the rest of these guys? Score a lot of points. Um, easier said than done, score a lot of points. I want to be excited to watch wrestle. That's the most important thing. Uh, pin, tech fall, um, decision, major. You know, it doesn't really matter as long as I'm fun to watch wrestle. Um, that's what it's about when you bring bring fans back to Iowa, back to the sport of wrestling. And it starts uh, with me, and my teammates, um, implementing our philosophy on, on the world. Outside of the semifinals, do you feel that you've been able to do that uh, uh, with quite a few bonus point victories this yeah. tournament? I do think so. Um, I mean, even in my semifinals match, I mean, I got put to my back. I still came out on top. I mean, I think that's pretty exciting. Um, not a lot of guys can do that. Um, yeah, did I don't know. That's uh, did not them, much of an answer for you. Did that match, give, though, give you a warning, though, that yeah, you can't sure. let down at all? Yeah, I wasn't letting down. I mean, it might look like it, but that guy, he's a props to him. He's, he's elusive. A lot like his brother, you know, they're judo type guys, they're hard to get a hold of. And when they get a hold of you, you're going for a ride. And he took me for a couple rides there. Two that scored, one was close. So I need to figure out, you know, maybe low, I talked about this earlier, low, low arm ties. You know, I was coming hard collar, not hard collar, I was maybe a little hesitant. I knew he was going to go, and that's when he went. So I, I learned from that. Thank you to that guy. But you know what, next time, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot worse. And I might talk to him before the match and say, hey, if you want to get rough, we'll get rough. That's fine. There's a parking lot here, I'm sure, or a parking garage. We'll go out there where no one can see. I won't tell anyone. Did you feel like he took a cheap shot at you at the end? Yeah. Do I think? Yeah. I don't think. I know. I mean, he laid on his belly for three minutes. The only thing he wanted to do was try and catch me. And then when he couldn't catch me, he got frustrated. And yeah, maybe I was stalling there at the end. But you know he's dangerous. I'm not gonna expose myself there at the end of the match and give up the match. And you gonna be a, a tough guy? You gonna be a tough guy? Be a tough guy in the whole dang match, right? Don't. You know if you want to play that way, that's fine. I'll play that way. But but play what? Play play the whole time, right? So it was a cheap shot. Thomas, um, the first time you won this tournament, I think uh, a month later, you had a match with Lambert that was 1-0 or 2-0 or 2-1 or two -one. something like that. Yeah, um, can, can you reflect a little bit on then versus now? Well, a lot's changed here, I'll tell you that much. Um, there's a lot going on there, however many years ago. Uh, me and Clark and uh, a lot of emotion, a lot of back and forth, not sure. I was too worried and too caught up in, you know, being the guy at the end of the year when in reality it's not about that. It's about whether you're the guy or not. Just go out there and put on a show like I try to do. Back then, I had it backwards. My head was in my you-know-what, and I was too worried about, you know, just winning. And, and someone in the bleachers of my own teammates said, hey, at least you got the win. But it's not about the win. It's about how you win. I can win. I can win against anyone. I can win against the best guys in the world. But it's how I beat those guys. And if I can only beat these guys here, not to talk down on them, but if I can only beat these guys, how am I supposed to beat the, the Georgian, the, the Olympic champion, the Jap, 
uh, J Japanese. I don't know if that's politically correct, but those are good guys, and that's those are the guys I'm I'm, I'm going to be wrestling here, 2020, here at the end of my college career in a few months. So, yeah. Uh, bonus points are key in the, the team race, and also two head-to-heads in the finals right. with Nebraska. Does that enter your mind at all? Uh, not only. For the team uh, to get bonus points, but shut them down. It does, but it doesn't. Um, there at the end of the match, you know, Morning Star is chirping, "Hey, you need to hold them down for that, for that major, that major." And then I'm like, "Okay, all right, team race. You know, I'm not doing it for myself anymore. But really, if I'm doing the right things, um, I'm trying to get the most out of myself all the time. So if I get the most out of myself, the team race is gonna take care of itself. So I'm never satisfied. So.